Hello, hello, hello. It's Knits for Sanity and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for popping in. And of course, if you're a regular, thanks for coming back. I always love having you. So today it should be pretty obvious what is on the docket for today's episode. A Timu unbaking or unboxing is what I usually say, but these are actually bags. So I guess it's really an unbaking. So I have two Timu packages here. Both of them are full of almost exclusively diamond painting related items. Um, and I wanted you to, you know, see the bags. Again, this is pretty standard for Timu. Your stuff will come in ripped bags. But I, I think only one time have I ever had a product not in my bag because the bag had ripped. So, you know, that's okay, I guess. You know, I'm anxious to see what everything looks like inside. But like I've pointed out before, Timu's main objective is keep it cheap. We want it cheap. So if your shipping is not going to be of the highest quality. They are less interested in necessarily protecting your products as they are with getting you your stuff for a very cheap price. And that's okay. That's what you're paying for. Um, but I did want to show you, you know, that is pretty normal having tears and stuff in the bags like this. All right, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, finish opening these and then I will start pulling out items to show you. I am back. Actually, the first thing that I have to show you is from Timu and it's something that I wanted to show you last week. This was actually in an order from probably about a month ago now, but I have seen these items kind of all over and was really curious as to what they look like in person. Um, it is one of these. Do you know what this is? This is like one of those dessert or cake trays. Do you know what I'm talking about? Maybe I'll put a picture up so you can see it. But I was just kind of curious as to what this looked like. Um, as well as, you know, I wondered about this top, you know, because you have these gorgeous crystals. Oh man, and these are pretty. These are like all crystals and special drills. <gasps> these are so pretty. Oh my goodness. Um, But just wondering, you know, you just stick them on here. Is there anything else that goes over top? There isn't. So you'll have to do a really good sealer on this. And actually, if anyone has any suggestions for me about what to use, I would love to hear it. Otherwise, I do probably plan on still using this polyacrylic, the Minwax Clear Crystal Top Coat. Crystal Clear Top Coat, I should say. But if you have other suggestions for me, let me know. Um, it's just that has been the best sealer that I have found up to this point. Um, so yeah, let me know. But these are really pretty. I thought this was really just springy, fun, vibrant, kind of very different color palettes between them, actually. You know, these two are kind of similar, but you can see how it kind of goes from it's almost seasonal. Like here, this is very springy. You have the bright colors, the yellows, and then it kind of transitions to your deeper greens, some more orange, almost red tones, to here you have the much deeper, more autumn-like colors. So you could almost say that this is seasonal with spring, summer, fall. Basic little toolkit. And then you have these, which... These are little coasters that you would put on the bottom of this. You'd stick these down here to just help protect your plate. Plus you'll have, you know, a little metal thing here, which these are so, so thin that if I had thicker ones, I think I'd actually put down coaster bottoms that are slightly thicker than this just because of the metal piece that's going to be underneath there let's open this up let's see if I can figure out how to put this together I have seen well I kind of was watching but I was I was actually diamond painting while I was watching uh Liz 
my good friend Liz. I call her my good friend. She she really, she's not my good friend. I just think of her as my friend because I watch her on YouTube. But Scotty Dog Crafts, she did have one of these. And actually, uh, mine turned out better than hers because my three plates all match. Her plates did not. She, I'm trying to remember now what she got. I just remember that her middle plate... <laughs> was gnomes oh she got bunnies that's right she had an easter th she got an easter themed one <laughs> um and we must have ordered them about the same time actually she just was able to do her unbagging much sooner than me but yeah so she had these you know bunny plate bunny plate and then a gnome <laughs> so they sent her the wrong middle plate uh but she had this and i'm trying to remember how it was that she put this all together so you have these few little like foam washers, six of those, one metal washer, and then one final screw. So this must be on the bottom. So that would be down here with a washer. And then this one would screw in. I don't want to do it too well because I don't want it to get stuck together. And then this one would go in with another topper here and you aren't going to be able to see this I'm running out of space here but then the last one will go in do you see I'm kind of leaning it on its side now um I didn't move my camera far enough out and then of course the cute handle here this is a really cute little handle that would go on top and again you can't really see this but um it's really cute like, I'm actually really, really excited about this. I wasn't sure what I'd think of it, but it's it's really quite cute. I'm excited to do this one. And, of course, as I get these things completed, I do like to show you. Um, I also, I haven't for a couple of months just because life has been so busy, but I also do, I call them um, um, weekend challenges where... I pick out a small project. This is not, however, a small project. This is actually quite large. These are, you know, covered in drills. So this is actually kind of a large project. But I pick out a small project to do over the weekend or one day on the weekend. And I kind of fast forward through that for you and then create like a 10 to 20 minute total video that just goes through the whole process of what it was like doing that particular small project. I try and do a lot of projects from budget companies like Timu, just to kind of give you an idea of what to expect. I have to find a little bag to put these in. Hold on. I keep all the little bags that I get and the various kits, so that will work really well to hold these little pieces. But anyway, that is just to help kind of show you what you can expect. I go over the stuff that did work, the stuff that didn't work, both in the kit as well as in my putting together of the kit because I'm known to make a number of mistakes and errors. We'll go ahead. We're going to quickly look at these two. I got a lot of stuff to get through though, so I don't want to spend too much time on this, but um, I was really excited. I wanted to show you guys this. Wow, guys, this is so many crystals. Look at all, I mean, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. How many of these are the same? 16, 17, 18. 18 different colors, including five bags of clear crystals. Almost all of them are basic crystals, but then the last, wow, the last six are not. So the last six, you have some special drills. This is like my new favorite that I have found. Can you see this? It's this cool like star button. Reminds me of like buttons from like the 40s, 50s. I love, love, that's my new favorite special drill. All right, so this is super duper awesome. I'm actually really excited about this. <coughs> and then in case you don't know, I do save the green trays. Um, I keep several for myself to use at home when I do small projects. I've talked about that in different videos previously. Uh, and then I donate the rest to my local elementary school art teacher. She uses them as teeny tiny little paint trays for her little students. So let's put this one away and we'll move on to our next item. 
So here is just a little, I think I added this on. It was like, it was one of those situations where if I added this little, it was like a $3 item. And I'm going to try and go back through and I will add the prices to all of these too. Because that has been something that I know you guys really love to see is the prices for each of these items. So this is just a cute little, it says it's a 30 by 30. But I about guarantee that it's actually more like a 25 by 25. And if I can find my measuring tape. Oh, you know, I've talked about it before about those measuring tapes that... I think they have a conspiracy. Found it. <laughs> I've talked before about the measuring tape conspiracy where I think they like, there's some kind of like secret coalition of measuring tapes as well as things like double pointed knitting needles and yarn needles, needles in general, um, socks, where like they, they have a conversation and they, it's, it's like they, they only work for so long. And then they put out an SOS saying, that's it, I'm done, come and extract me. And they just then disappear. So yes, this is 25 centimeters by 25 centimeters. So it is, it's, it's actually 25 by 25 if you look at the actual painted area. It's just a cute little partial drill kit. There's only 13 different colors in here. And I'm not gonna actually open these up but there are, like, this is a gold ball drill. On this side, you have a couple of these large red round balls. And where did those go? So that's number eight. Oh, sure, of course, right here. Right there. And I only have two of those, so you got just enough to do this. But I just thought it was cute. Just a fun little, obviously, it's a Christmas-themed little diamond painting, but it was adorable. And like I said, I had to get it because it was going to save me money and get me more product. So I don't feel like this is one we have to go into great detail, but it is really, really cute. So this is a little notebook that I got, but I just thought that image was really, really pretty. I have a daughter who loves owls. I thought the colors in this might be lovely and it does look like they will be. So let's open this up. I have done, I have done a notebook before that I've gotten from Timu and this feels very, very similar, perhaps identical. In fact, you know, I can't find my measuring tape, but I know exactly where I have this completed notebook at. <laughs> and yeah, these are these are identical. So this is a notebook that I did last fall. And if you happen to be with me, you'll remember that it came and it was creased pretty bad in the side. But, um, you know, I just I pressed it for a while. And now, like just looking at it, you can't even really tell until you open up the book. So follow up on that. But yeah, these are exactly the same. Just blank pages on the inside. This is kind of a more like styrofoam soft type backing for this book you know it is not a hard backing like what you get with craft buddy but um still nice the pages are the pages are pretty thin like you're not gonna want to use markers in here definitely and ink pen ink pen you will have not obviously bleed through, but you will have, you know, in old detective movies, don't write down your like murder plans on here because, and then rip the page out because someone can come with a pencil and they can go and you could, they can totally read your entire plan. So don't use these to make any illicit plans in and you'll be fine. So, but this is really, really lovely. These I do want to take out and we're going to look at these drills together because these look really pretty. Actually, I just, I see, I see this one and I'm, I'm smitten. Isn't that pretty? It's this beautiful opalesque pink rose. Oh, I love it. Um, and then some others. 
just oh pretty 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 so pretty such beautiful colors and then on here we have some white ap aurora borealis drills which is just that special coating that's put on top of them um helps them stand out a little bit more yeah this is lovely that's a really pretty little notebook and bonus you get to see what a completed one looks like which is unused i don't know what i'm actually going to do with this i feel like you know, is there a market? Should I try selling some of my completed items? I mean, I'm really going to just ask for enough to cover the cost of the kit plus a tiny bit more. Like, <laughs> I'm not asking for labor, but um, yeah, is there a market? Should I start trying to sell some of this stuff? Just because I have a lot of it. Does anyone, I mean, would anyone want this? It's so, so pretty, but I have a lot of diamond painting notebooks already. <laughs> And there, I mean, notebooks are always really handy, but you just reach a point where um, you're just not going to use that many. So I don't know. Let me know. But this is quite lovely. I forgot how pretty it was. That is really pretty. Anyway, we're going to put this one away. Well, this is the last item from my first order. And you kind of get a hint right here about what it is. It's a little box. And now that it, I see that it comes in a pretty flat little box, I'm realizing that I'm going to have to put this little box together. Like I'm going to have to construct the box, which is always a little scary. So pull out our pieces. Oh, this toolkit comes with like three little bags in it. That's interesting. I mean, that's kind of a nice little added bonus. Uh... We got all of our drills. Again, more crystals. I don't see any specials in here, actually. So, have a look. Yeah, no, and I don't see anything on here that says special drills either. All right, so we have... Oh, wow, okay. Oh, wow, this is... Wow, this is quite nice. All right, so this piece is intact. It is not broken. This is the one piece that could easily be broken. It's not flimsy, but it's it's definitely, you know, there's um some weak points in here just based on its shape. This one might actually have some instructions. Now, I have said it before, sometimes with your Timu purchases, <coughs> things come and they're really dusty. And I have started to notice see do you see maybe not but I mean black and I've started to put together that the dustiest stuff often seems to come in these boxes so I don't know if it's something about the way they're put together where they're put together um I don't know but I've started to put that together that your boxed items are often going to be your dirtiest uh now, I have had people comment just absolutely irate, like, you're just, you know, get over yourself. You're just trying to find flaws and you're too picky. Well, that's why I do these videos, right? Like, I want you to know what it is that you'll be purchasing. So, yes, I am being picky. That's not to say that this item can't be wiped down and made clean because it can. Just I want you to be aware that, yeah, it's dusty. It is kind of gross. Um... But that doesn't mean that it's not a good item. So, you know, you're paying so little when you purchase from Timu that I'm honestly not expecting a lot. And for the most part, I'm always very pleasantly surprised at what I do get from Timu. So I just want to, you know, throw that out there and make it clear that, yeah, I'm being picky. It's intentional. So there are some instructions with how to put this box together. Oh, my Oh, yeah. Okay. So this needs to bend. I don't know that I want to put this together right now because you have to bend this piece. Oh, that makes me nervous, man. Yeah. I don't know that I want to put this together and then try and take it apart. But you bend the two smaller pieces and they are flexible, like kind of like scary. Like I feel like this is going to snap flexible. You're going to want to wipe these down first though, because yeah, these are... um. So after you wipe them down, yeah, again, I'm being picky, all right? Um, but after you wipe them down, then go ahead and you're going to want to create your box. So these two, you round up here in the tops. These two, which are also flexible, 
we're gonna go down in here. Now it does, you do wanna make sure, do you see how there's just one prong versus two? One, two, these are gonna go into the same hole right here. So, and then this will round down. All right, I'm a little little confused because see, it this won't fit there. This is good to know. So these are indeed specialized parts. They have to go in the right side of the heart. And I see that now. So this one has to go here. Yeah, there we go. So this one goes there and then this one has to go over here. So that is how that works. And then, like I said, I'm not putting this together completely. And then you fit this piece on top. And then after this one is completed, it has this gorgeous little beveled edge there. It will set right on top of this. Oh, that is going to be so pretty. And then as you can see, you do have, you know, it will be an actual box. Oh, that's going to be gorgeous. What fun. Just these are quite specific pieces. You got to make sure that you have these in the right spots. And yes, this is very, very dirty. Okay. See, I'm being picky. Huh. I'm just letting you know it is. It's filthy. So you're going to want to wash it up before you put it together. But this way, if you order this and it comes and it's filthy, it's not a surprise. You're aware of it. You know what you're buying. Again, for what I paid for this, however much it was, hopefully I found it and I've already put it up there for you. I'm not expecting perfection, okay? I'm actually super duper pleased with this, but now I got a big mess on my desk. So I'm going to have to pause this, come clean it all, and then I'll be back. I am back with a cleaner table. I mean, as clean as what this table can ever become and ready to move on to my second package of goodies that I received. I think it was last week. These came in from Timu. Maybe over the weekend. All right. Oh, there's little sticks. Oh, little sticks. I think I know what this one is. So this is, I tried to get, there were all these new products, which is why I did another a uh, larger diamond art team order is because there were all of these, you know, new project, new products that I found, like that box and the cake tray. And I was just kind of curious what these would be like. But these are cute. So here we have, we got, we have six little butterflies here. And I always, check because quite often these will come cracked and it's just there it's a because it's a pretty flimsy acrylic and you know packaging is not careful packaging is not the priority of Timu so I do check to see if these are cracked best way to do that is actually to look on the reverse side as long as this is not a double-sided item which it is not you'll easily see if it's cracked on the reverse side Ooh, this one had a somebody's hair in it that's actually quite gross <laughs> hair from china oh thank you um but yeah look at the back here so far i've not seen any cracks so that's actually pretty awesome but all these cute little butterflies and then there is a sticker here. Now, hmm. It's definitely quite jelly and two-sided it looks like. So, are there two or like reversible ones? Like can I put two together? I think I could. So like these two could go together if I wanted. Mm, nope. Maybe 
not. Eh, they're pretty thin. No. Nope. All right, so maybe that is not actually a thing. Maybe it's just this one that two of them could go together. Uh, but there are eight of these little window clings. But then there are these sticks. So how this is supposed to work is... I don't know if you're supposed to get the stick to go through. Yep, I think so. So you push the stick through here. And then somehow, oh, these are so thin, they're hard to pick up. Um, but then using these sticky pieces, you're supposed to attach it to the back of these. And then you put them like in pots, like for potted plants, or you can put them outside. I mean, they won't last long if you put them outside. Or possibly even better is just to not, uh, oh boy, not use the sticks at all and try and apply them and use these as like window clings. That might even be the best yet. I... I'm a little bit unsure of how well this is going to work. Like maybe if you just, you could maybe just apply the stick and then do like this over it. Um, but I'm just, I don't know how well this is going to stick. Like if I put this down in the back of the butterfly and then put this down, I don't, feel like that's going to stay in there very well. Do you? Like, I just, I just don't think that's going to work real well. I mean, these are so huge. I almost feel like it's more meant to be maybe or like this. I don't know. And of course there are, I mean, there are no instructions with any of this. So it is really hard to know but anyway the idea is that then you can put these in like I said your planted flowers or you could stick them out in your little garden uh but they won't last long out there just because of weather and heat and sun but um gorgeous crystals in here I don't think I'm gonna take these all out you have a couple of teardrop shapes in there Otherwise, it's pretty standard, normal crystals, but super pretty. I think these will look really, really pretty. I'm just a little bit skeptical about how to put together the final item. Just, yeah, the, and I mean, this is like really, really sticky. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to keep you posted on that one. That one is a little... This one's a little confusing to me, how to make sure that this will work. and But I think they are really, really cute. And I, I mean, honestly, these are so, I mean, look, at, they're so hard to pick up because they're so thin that worst case scenario, you could finish these off and actually put these like on cards if you wanted or something else. You could glue them down and create an image out of it. I mean just because they are so thin that there are other options that you could do with these. I almost like that idea of doing a card with them. Huh. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I just, I'm not entirely sure about the adhesive and how that's supposed to work with the little suction cups and the large sticks. Yeah. I don't know. I'll have to think. I'll, I'll keep you guys posted. If you have genius ideas let me know uh another this isn't really a new type item but i thought it was really cute and i like these i have found that i do like these stand up decoration pieces a lot as you may know since how one of my most recent videos i just showed off three of them that i had just completed but look at this adorable little mushroom house isn't that cute and it comes with a little stand here. I can already see that this is going to be a bit of a challenge to stick into this stand. 
just this is bent a little bit. I don't know if you can see, this is not completely straight. So it will be a little bit of a challenge to get it to go in there, but I've, I've always been able to do it. Sometimes you just need to sand it down a little bit. Sometimes even sand this out a little bit in here, it will work. And it is, I'll pull this out because this is interesting too to me. You'll see there are these stickers here, right? And you know, why are there stickers here? I think they are meant to go on the bottom as like almost a little coaster, but also this is two pieces which is something I have seen before. And you'd think that these stickers then, well, would that keep the two pieces together? They don't, it's just a one-sided sticker. So I think they're meant to almost be like a coaster on the bottom. But then the double piece thing is different. Yeah, like I said, this is gonna be a challenge to get in there, but I will be able to do it. But this just penetrates and goes down into that second piece, but not fully. So you don't, you know, so then you have a stand and it's not, there's no way, here, maybe this will show you. There's no way that you're gonna have this poking out of the bottom. Um, do you see how it just kind of makes it so it fits in there just perfectly. So that's the two piece thing. I don't know why sometimes they use two separate pieces to get the right size, I don't know. But anyway, this is really cute. But then let's look at the color crystals that came with it. Because I was curious to see how well do the color crystals match up with this image. And this is just a little partial. You know, this one won't take me long to complete. It's just a partial. But part of what really attracted me to this particular one were the colors in here. These kind of warm earth tone autumn type colors and yeah I mean these crystals do match there are so I like this blue in there a lot I think that's an appropriate pop the one color that I'm kind of curious to see what it looks like with the rest of them is this bright royal blue marquee that one could be kind of interesting. And I can see through the bag too. And yes, I'm being super picky again and I am just looking for things to critique. That's again, kind of the point of the video. Um, But the crystals, you probably can't see this on the video. The crystals are quite dusty inside of the bag here. And like I said, you probably can't see that. Again, that's not a huge deal. Um, what what happens is it makes your wax or putty or whatever it is that you're using really dirty really fast. So sometimes you'll have to replace your wax or putty a little bit more frequently. But then when it's done, you know, you can just gently wipe them all off and they're fine. And actually, it's kind of a fun reveal because then your project looks even more sparkly after you wipe it off. But I am. I'm curious to see what those blues will look like in here. And that is the C symbol. And C is just down here and down here. So just a little bit of pop at the bottom here. I'm sure it'll look beautiful, but that's the only color in the palette that I'm like, eh, I don't know if that actually works. So I'm curious to find that out. But anyway, this is super, super adorable. I loved this little mushroom house. This piece does not lay flat, which is why, you know, I pointed out that this will be a little bit harder to get in because it is not flat. It is a little bit rounded, but it'll go in. Trust me, I'll, it'll work. I'll make it work. But this is really cute. Super cute. And in case you are new and don't know, I live in the woods, several wooded acres, couple of ponds, and this just seems ideal. Like this is our house. This is not our house. This house is much cuter than our house, actually, even though it's a mushroom. And I probably wouldn't actually want to live in a mushroom. But it's adorable. <laughs> But it just seems like a really good fit for where we live. I love all woodsy things and those kind of earth tone colors. That is completely me. Oh, I got some glue. It was really cheap. I've never purchased diamond painting glue of any kind from Timu before. Uh, and the other thing that intrigued me about this is this is one of those... Well, it's sealed here. How can I? <laughs> huh. I want to get the top off to show you. 
There we go. But it's one of these uh, foam tip things where the glue comes through in the hole there and you go like this. So I was kind of curious what I thought of this, if I liked how this worked. Based on a project that I completed last week or something, um, the thing about the foam tip makes me wonder, especially with if you have larger special drills, which this project really doesn't, uh, this can create quite a bit of air, which can leave bubbles behind, but some of it depends on the type of glue, whether that will dry as bubbles or not. So I don't know. I will try it out and I'll let you know. But just, a, you know, this is just a little bitty thing of glue. It's only 60 mils, which is about two ounces. Just a little, little tiny little thing of glue here, but I wanted to give it a try and it was inexpensive. Again, hopefully I've put the price on here and you now see the price. Oh, this was another new item. See, there were all these new items. <laughs> so this is a stand-up mirror. So it's like a compact here with this really cute kind of poppy floral type all over design. It is technically a partial. It's not a full painting. It's not completely covered in crystals, but a lot of it is. Super bright colors. Okay, but then it opens up and you flip it back. Wait a minute. Okay, what am I not <laughs> what am I not figuring out guys there is a bend here but how is that going to help me have it stand up so it shows that it's supposed to be able to like stand up what am I doing wrong I, you know, I, I, I tend to miss things. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The mirror bends. See, there's a bend here and a bend here. Except it doesn't really bend. <laughs> this should not be so complicated. Why can I not figure this out? This should not be difficult. Why is this so hard? I don't know. What am I? <laughs> I need to see the picture again. I'm doing something clearly wrong here, obviously. Wait, wait. I did it. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. Um, I figured it out. <laughs> That's really embarrassing. Um, yeah, that is, that's really embarrassing. So yeah, so look, it's a cute little stand-up mirror. Ah! Um, <laughs> that can be put together. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. That is so, um, uh, guys, I, I'm a caution. I am, I am a caution. Uh, just, just be warned if you ever, ever happen to have to be with me in person I can be a little scary so yeah um clearly like shape manipulation not my strong point <laughs> like if you do an IQ test and uh you have to like manipulate shapes to put them in this right pattern and stuff. clearly I think I would fail that I get an IQ back of probably about 20 <laughs> No, I wouldn't. Um, but anyway, um, I did finally figure it out. So it's really not that complicated. So <laughs> I will show you now how to do it. So it is a two-sided little stand-up mirror, which, watch this, okay? Just watch. You have the mirror on the top side, right? Because this part bends. This is your little lip. Bam! Look at, look at how simple that actually is. Oh my word. Oh, okay, that is embarrassing. Oh, and then here are all of your gorgeous drills. I'm gonna take these out because there are several different types in here. Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> that is really, really embarrassing. <sighs> All right, so here we have these. Oh, these are really, 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 really tiny. These teardrops are so tiny. These are the ones that make me have to use the bathroom. You know, it seems how I've just embarrassed myself completely. Let's just go all out with the embarrassment. But anytime there's like super fine work like this, like cutting, cutting in elementary school, I've said, I've shared this before. So, I mean, it's not like I have not made this public before, but cutting in elementary school, I always had to use the bathroom. I still have to use the bathroom when I have to do fine cutting work. And I'm looking at this and having to stick these down. It's going to make me have to use the bathroom. It, and apparently that's not normal. I thought it was normal in elementary school until my teacher's like, what are you talking about? And then I started to put together that it's not normal. And perhaps I'm not normal. Oh, those are pretty. So these are all really flat crystals. I don't know how to ex explain that beyond just they're, they are very flat. These are not. These are pretty normal. And then these are all pretty standard looking round crystals but yeah some of these just they're really flat feeling I don't know how to explain that but anyway I also I like these anyway so yes so super fun crystals in here and this stand-up mirror design which really is not that complicated <laughs> to figure out how to put together it is double-sided you're definitely going to want to seal this one quite well as well just because it will see use once you figure out how to just pop it open. <laughs> okay, let's put this one away. But this would make such a lovely gift for somebody. Or it's just so pretty. Maybe I could just make it and keep it on my desk here by me. As a shameful reminder of how I was such an idiot, I couldn't figure out how to make the mirror stand up. So this is a super tiny little display book that I got. It says it's 30 pockets. Um, A4 size. So yeah, that's, that's pretty little. A5 is like half of this in case, especially in the States, we're not very familiar with the paper sizing. Um, because you know, we're weird. We just, we do things differently here for reasons that I don't always understand. But yeah, so A4, A5 would be this cut in half. Um, A3 is like this like this size. <laughs> Does that make sense? So this is super tiny. I am trying to think why I got this size. Can somebody help me? Why, why did I get this size? Did I mean to get this size? Did I think I was getting an A3? Why did I get this size? I don't know. I make almost nothing that would fit in here. It would be either be too small, like the little paint gem pieces. Those those look good, like if you can find an A5 and cut them down and you can kind of frame them on there. Add more zest. I think she's the one that she does that. That would be really cute. Why did I get this size book? I haven't a clue. I mean, because I only have like one painting <laughs> that's going to fit in here, which I also happen to know exactly where this is. The tape measure, however, this is how I know that these disappear on their own. They intentionally do it. It's because I can find everything else random. You know, this painting that I did way back in December. So this one I could cut out and this would fit in here. But this is literally the only piece of art that I have that would fit in here. <laughs> Why did I get this size? But I don't know. Well, let's measure it for those of you who don't know what an A4 size is. And because if you don't know what an A4 size is, you probably are not going to be very familiar with the metric system. So we're going to use the standard American ridiculous inches. So that is like eight and a half inches by 12 inches. You could maybe get one sheet of paper, printer paper in here, and that would be it. So, you know what? I don't know why I bought this book. I have no idea. I have no clue. No idea why I bought this book. Because I have a couple of 9x9 nine nine paintings. Those won't fit in here even after they are cut out. I don't know. I, I don't know what I was thinking. This is the only painting, and it's not even a good painting. 
So moving right along. So this I got just because I thought it was cute. And I like, I like the size. It's easy to make these and then have a frame and replace them out seasonally. You know, this is another 30 by 30, which again is really going to be like a 25 by 25. 25 by... All right, this one is actually a little bit under 25 centimeters for height. Just not even half a centimeter. But these are super nice. They're cute, fun, easy to do. Um, this is pretty thin. However, you can see... Can you see how you can see the print right through it? So this one, when I apply glue to seal it... Um, probably some little glue marks might be left behind just because I have had that in the past with this kind of thin canvas. It's not, I mean, like you can't see it on camera and I know because last, I don't remember, October or something, I had one where I was trying to show that the glue, if it's applied a little bit too heavy, you'll get glue marks left over. And nobody could see it on the film. You can only see it in person. So, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. And again, it's Timu. So, I'm not expecting, you know, a ton. I'm not expecting high quality here. I'm just, typically, I'm thrilled with what I get. But, yes, I do. I love this little size. And you can do several of these and then change them out monthly or seasonally. And there are lots of pretty little crystals in here. Some specials in here as well be really really lovely I don't typically care for butterflies but now I've gotten two butterfly things butterflies are too close to moths and butterflies are slightly better than moths but moths really creep me out they're hairy and they fly so erratically that's the real problem is that whole erratic flying I just oh, creeps me out butterflies however they tend to fly slower so even though it's still kind of erratic it's not quite as terrifying. Does that make any sense? I don't know. You're just learning all kinds of stuff about me today. Oh, again, I'm not going to open these up. You have a general idea. Just a little bitty cat. Nothing too terribly special about this particular canvas. So we're just going to put this one back away. And then I think that leaves me with one more item. Maybe I'll look and see because there could be something hiding at the bottom of the package that I forgot about. So yes, there were two more items. There was something hiding on the bottom. Also, quick, quick note, in case you're watching this and you hear noise in the background, my husband is in a meeting right now, but he's not a presenter, so he's just listening. So that's some of the chatter that you may hear in the background. My dog was eating earlier, and now he's on the couch sleeping and snoring. And if you're not familiar with the sounds that you typically hear on my videos, those are two pretty normal sounds, especially the snoring dog. He's a bulldog. It's just what he does. He eats super loud and then he goes to sleep and snores super loud. Actually, he's pretty quiet right now for, you know, healthy. All right. So this was another new item, I believe. Oh, yeah, they're magnets. That's right. That's right. So, yeah, this was another new style item that I saw and wanted to get. And cute little owls. I love owls. And I have a daughter that loves owls. I love owls. I like owls. And I like frogs. And I like turtles. I don't like moths. hate moths. And I don't really care for butterflies. But yet I still had two butterfly items today. But kind of makes up for it because I have two owl items today. And um, look how cute they are. Those are so cute. And these are actually thicker than the butterflies that for the sticks. These are... A little bit thicker than those because I can pick these up from my table <laughs> with no trouble. The butterflies were not. Um, but super duper cute. And then here you have magnets. So just a little sticky on one side. We're just going to stick it right on there. <laughs> cute magnet. Super cute. Now, I can already feel <laughs> these are not the world's strongest magnets. You'll be able to hang like a piece of paper with these magnets. But that's okay, because I feel like these are really just more for decoration, right? They're just kind of meant to look pretty. 
I think these are decorative, not so much practical. And of course, if you want them to become more practical, you can buy your own dang supercharged magnet and hang five sheets. Um, I'm not going to do that. These will be fine. These will be just fine. I mean, that'll be great. So anyway, those are really, really cute. I don't think I'm going to open these jewels up either because these are just standard round crystals. There's nothing special in here. You know, of course, with your black crystal, not black crystal, but your black acrylic. Um, and the colors look to be pretty close to what you see down here. So, yeah, we're going to just leave this alone. The only thing that I will maybe point out is this looks quite olive in color, but it's not. Oh, now I got to show you <laughs> because it's not just sitting on the outside here, but it's not actually going to be olive. The rest of them look pretty close to what you're seeing, but this is actually more brown tones. So here are your C and your D colors. So they are not olive colors. These are more brown tan taupe type tones not an olive color but otherwise the rest of them are pretty pretty clear you can tell you know what they're supposed to be so these are really cute and I like that these are thicker than the butterflies I think these will be adorable we do have a fridge where you can put magnets on the fridge you know that was the that's the bummer with the stainless steel refrigerators is uh no, you can't hang anything on them. I remember when my folks got their first stainless steel fridge. I think I was college age-ish or something. I mean, I was older, so it didn't really mean as much to me. But there went being able to hang children's artwork on the fridge. Because there was nowhere that you could hang it. So then my mom actually bought a little magnetic board that she put next to the telephone. Because this was still when, you know, people used landlines. This is how old I am. But, yeah, so then she bought a little magnetic board that she could hang next to the phone, our landline. So she could stick little notes and stuff up on that board. Which was great, but it still wasn't large enough to be able to hang artwork. However, let's see. If I was college, that means my youngest sister would have been middle school so really by the time you're in middle school there's not a whole lot that gets hung on the refrigerator anymore all right so that was that now we are actually on to the last product it's like a caboodle <laughs> yes i am that old which by the way i never got to own a caboodle there are a few items from my childhood that I never got to own. Like a few popular things from back in the day and I never got to own them and I have not recovered. One of those was an actual caboodle. Oh, my friends all had them. They were so cool. And I mean, there were like the little caboodles. Those were like, eh, but then they started coming out with the monster caboodles and those were so cool. Anyway, this is kind of caboodle-ish. It's more like a tackle box if we're being truthful <laughs> which caboodles really they are it's like an upgraded tackle box and I know that but they were cooler but this is definitely more tackle box like so anyway um but I wanted to get it because I thought I could hold my like diamond art my drill pins and my trays hopefully can fit on the bottom I just wanted to find something that would organize my stuff a little bit better than what I currently have. So that is why I got this. And again, it was quite inexpensive. So I want to kind of just look it over right now, see if we have cracked plastic anywhere. I mean, we have some kind of weird things stuck on here. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm carrying in. I'm always afraid I'm like bringing in the next bug infestation. Sorry with some of the stuff that I get from China. And not that I'm knocking China, it's just, you know, this is this is a fact. Anytime you have things shipped from overseas, you could be introducing something not native here, and then next thing you know, all of our elm trees are dying. Um, but I don't see any, like, big cracks or anything, so that's cool. We got a nice little handle here. 
So let's open this puppy up. You know, typical caboodle latch. I mean, the quality difference though between this and a caboodle, this is much cheaper plastic, like way cheaper, <laughs> flimsier plastic. Uh, and it opens right up. Boom. And it opens up like that. And then this is how you know that it's not a caboodle. It's a tackle box. <laughs> but I did like, I think this will be good. I am. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this will work. This is really kind of nice. Super duper handy. All right. So let's try and find some things here that maybe I can put in here. So here we go. What I want to find is something that, you know, everyone, the rage, was it last summer where everyone was getting those little bitty toolboxes that then you could put your, um, you know, what are these? Your cover minders. You could stick your cover minders to them. I do really want to get something like that, but that, that was more expensive. And so that didn't happen, but see, you know, you can put trays on the bottom here. Pens hopefully will fit in there. Maybe up top here I could still put some of these. I wish there were dividers. If there were dividers, that would be awesome. Because right now what's going to happen is all of my cover minders are just going to run into each other. Oh, those happen to repel. Or you just find cover minders that are opposite poles. Ha! And then that will work too. See? <laughs> um... But yeah, this is really nice. Washi tape. Close it up. Oh, and it does. It all fits in there. Oh, yeah. The drill pin is kind of caught. It's not rolling around in there. Which is fine because it all fits together. But it just means that this is, it's a tight squeeze. So anything fatter than this is not going to fit in there with this on top. But yeah, there we go. So guys, that's everything. That is, I went, I went through a lot of stuff. What is your favorite? What's your favorite thing that I showed you today? I gotta think. I really, I don't know. I like a lot of it. I really like this little thing. This is pretty awesome. I also really, really like the mushroom house. I think this is really cute. It's in here now. But this cake stand is also pretty awesome. I'm excited to do that. I do like this mirror. Just, it brings up some embarrassing recent memories. But the mirror is really, really cool. So these might be my three favorite items, maybe. Plus the cake stand. So those are probably my four favorite things. Although the cake stand was actually in a completely different order. And then my most confusing item is first this A4 book. I have no idea why I got this size display book. I think I just lost my mind. So I don't understand why I got the A4 book, but the book itself is, it, it's fine. It, it appears lovely. It is not broken. Um, you know, it's a nice, great little display book. So that's confusing just because I'm confusing. Uh, and then, and of course this, this was a confusing item, but only because I'm an idiot. Again, <laughs> user error, totally. But the actual confusing item or the one where I'm not 100% sure how to get it to work correctly is the butterflies on the sticks um yeah just i'm not i don't know i just i don't know about that sticky wax back it's it's big i'm not entirely sure how that is gonna work out i don't know i might use the butterflies in a completely different way from how it was given to me the heart box was awesome. The owl move. I mean, it's all so cool. Oh, anyway, I think I'm finally done blabbering. And hopefully I will have put all the prices in here for you. If I didn't, I'm really, really sorry. But I'm going to try and make sure that I make that edit. But I think that's everything, guys. You learned so much about me today. And I shared some really embarrassing moments with you. Just your reminder that everyone's human, right? <laughs> all right, guys. Like I always say at the end of every video, because it is so important, please just be kind. Practice patience today. Practice kindness. You don't know what anyone is going through at any given time. You just know what you are going through. So um, just be kind to those around you. And hopefully, hopefully you're showing that same level of kindness. I hope that you are having a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will see you again real soon.